Hello devotees, friends, and family. It's my latest little update. Um, um, one of the things I was feeling this morning really strongly is uh, I don't want to be too grandiose as always, but in this room I really feel the uh, presence of Krishna, or a presence. Um, of course I got my pictures everywhere. This is my little uh, makeshift altar in front of the computer for when I'm, I'm typing and thinking and uh, I've showed you my other altar. The big news <laughs> is I got a water, a five gallon water bottle and a dispenser. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> so that's good. Make it a lot easier, make a lot less uh, plastic uh, garbage. But um, it's going well. Uh, some mornings are harder than others. I, I have to get up, you know, 10 times or so to pass. But I, I, I don't feel tired. I don't know how my appearance is, but I, I feel I'm able to sit and chant. And that one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, I'm doing silent japa when I drink water, and it's been really uh, helpful to me. I'm not advocating uh, any kind of japa, particularly. Uh, just contrasted from uh, japa, uh, for those who aren't devotees, is uh, the soft or, or loud repetition of the holy name and the Hare Krishna mantra for us. And um, So uh, Hare Nasta Kaurit said he chanted uh, a hundred a lack or a hundred thousand names um, silently in his mind and then wisp some usually japas I forget the Sanskrit word uh, is just for you to hear and then there's louder like when we were young devotees we'd practically scream it and <laughs> so the to control our minds so I uh, generally uh, never really thought much about it as far as chanting any other way. It's been 48 years now. Uh, Going to be 49 actually in February. Um, that's just how we did it. And uh, I heard that uh, uh, Akinshina Das Babaji Maharaj, when he used to see the devotees chanting, he used to laugh. Of course, he was a very jolly devotee anyway. But, uh, you know, it seems like there's a lot of people that chant silently in their mind, and there's arguments for both. But uh, I'm really appreciating, for the last six months or so, I've kind of been experimenting with it, not for any particular reason, but uh, I practiced it, and uh, it was really helpful on the airplane. <laughs> you know, you can, of course, everyone, I got up, I was able to sleep and get up and chant, so that was good. And um, um, so, uh, you know, I got to drink all this water. So there's a certain time when at first, as soon as I get up, I start drinking water and start chanting. And I chant silently and I'm able to, you know, keep chanting. I mean, sometimes I'll, I mix it up a little bit. But obviously when you're drinking water, you can't be chanting out loud, as far as I know. <laughs> uh, so... It's been an interesting experiment, and I also um, have found it quite interesting that, you know, when we uh, think, we don't, it seems like we're thinking outside of our, our, our voice, our, our mouth or something. But when I chant, it's, uh, I've, you know, if I had, it's just difficult to not be using my, my mouth or my tongue or something like that. I guess just because I've been chanting out loud for so long. So I've been experimenting, imagining, because the soul is in the heart. So whether it's a subtle body or the soul that I'm accessing it. So I'm chanting without moving or even feeling my lips. I'm thinking about the heart, I'm feeling from the heart, trying to, I know a love is not just a feeling, but it's also a feeling. So I try to infuse my chanting with, with affection, with love. And... Um, for Krishna and Radha, uh, and um, imagine, my, uh, you know, visualization is powerful, so I imagine, I can't quite <laughs> visualize my soul, but uh, 
visualize a mouth in the uh, in my heart that's chanting and uh, I'm able to do that it's still a struggle but it's a, it is an interesting experiment for me to be able to chant and be meditating because at the time of death of course it's a bewildering time and you may not be able to chant out loud with your physical body but you'll be able to chant hopefully prayer we hope we pray uh, with our subtle body or with our soul I mean our subtle body is covered in the, in, the, in the yogic system and in bhakti by the gross and subtle body the mind intelligence and ego is a subtle body and the the, uh, the physical manifestation uh, uh, the gross body that we see that we generally think of as, as ourselves so anyway that's just I decided I would share that and because uh, it's it's really been helpful for me that I can chant eight to ten rounds before I have to do my medicine at five and uh, so then I do four kinds of medicine and one of after one of which uh, I drink a liter of water and I'm uh, I try to get two or three liters of water before I do the medicine and then throughout the day another uh, you know six or seven so so far, so good. I'm really trying to meditate that, as Krishna says in the Gita, I'm the taste of water. <laughs> and sometimes I'm thinking, oh my God, more water. Ugh. It's really not that bad. And uh, I was just thinking, how are I going to look in six months? I don't know, at the gradual process. And uh, I'm uh, just shaving once a month. I'm not shaving. I'm going to have a, somebody... Um, shave my head and my face it's just easier I'm not here to cut a profile anyway but it's you know these days it's not a big deal maybe it is to you my wife doesn't like it <laughs> but you know uh, here uh, it's different I mean I did have a beard for four or five months uh, earlier the, in the beginning of the year so I've had I've had one at various times but I'm not my beard so generally I'll be clean shaven so, um, um, but yeah, I'm feeling, yeah, this morning I was just really uh, appreciating the feeling that's in this room. Uh, and again, I, it's, a, it's just a presence and, and I wasn't there when I, when I got in the room. So maybe just all the prayers and chanting and, uh, and your prayers and uh, good thoughts and well-wishing is just... Uh, sustaining me um, and uh, getting the mercy of the Lord Radha and Krishna Radha's brought me here somehow so uh, anyway that's the news uh, life is good uh, I feel uh, you know it's a struggle sometimes <laughs> when I first get up like oh man I want to get up but one thing I can say about myself is that I have I'm able to be disciplined and I'm tolerant so that is a really an asset for doing this treatment and, and for living in, in the world and dealing with you know, our mind and, and uh, people who are not always uh, uh, in the best state of consciousness. That's it for today. Hare Krishna. Blessings. Thank you all for, your, uh, for joining me uh, on this journey. And uh, we'll see what today brings.